So what do you think I can do? I just cannot get Penelope to practice right now. I know you have got Zeus into a good practice routine, so I was hoping you might be able to share your magic tips. When does she usually do her practice? I try to encourage her to get down to it as soon as she comes in from school, on most days. And I bet that is not working, right? Yes, absolutely. Musicians never practice well when they are tired so suggest a time when they have rested. It's also important to establish a routine of regular practice and give lots and lots of praise. I noticed you said Penelope practices on most days. To be honest Betty, I do not feel confident to go any further than just trying to get her to practice. You have a trombone performance diploma and are a highly skilled musician. I played many glockenspiel in the marching band once when the hamsters got to the junior high playoffs. I am just the sideline parent mentor. Oh, but there is still lots you can do. It's not all rocket science, Howard. How about sitting in on one of Penny's lessons with Mr. Cheeseburglar? Yes, great idea. I might see you there after you drop off Zeus for his lesson. Much of what you say can be common sense guidance. Think of yourself as Penny's music practice coach. Nobody would expect you to try to intervene with her clarinet playing technique. Only Mr. Cheeseburglar should instruct her there. But when you hear her going through the motions, you can perhaps suggest she reverses the order of the pieces and exercises she normally plays. All right. Yes, I can do that. It's when they get stuck and I feel like I want to help but don't know what to suggest. What can I do then, Betty? Okay, well... Start by suggesting that she pencil marks the difficult passage, and then plays each note slowly but as expressively as she can. Then, add the rhythm back and play the last note only. Then play the last note and the note before it. Then move back three notes and so on, moving backwards step by step. Wow. Yes, that seems so simple, yet sounds like it would be effective. I can hear myself now. It's coming along nicely Penny. How about that tricky middle part backwards, step by step? That's the ticket, Howard. Here's another, help, I am stuck, strategy. Suggest that she stops, closes her eyes and replays the melody or passage in her memory, but as she does so, try to see it as a shape. You could call that thinking in shapes. Fantastic. Any other tips for when she gets bored? And I can hear her trying to play the bass line from Bonkers by Dizzy Rascal? Yes, it's a big tune for sure, Howard. Well, children love praise. It's the shortest route to their heart. They also need motivating. Here's a way you can't tick both those boxes. Start by suggesting to Penelope that after she warms up, she plays a piece she really loves every time she practices. You know, that one you played so soulfully, Penny? Of course. Great. You know what a mosaic is, right? A picture made up of lots of related but small pieces. Nearly all musical pieces could be described this way. Suggest to Penny that on her music, she finds and pencil marks passages that have similar attributes, such as bars with lots of short notes, or all the softer sections, all the latter parts and all the parts with longer notes, or slow-moving melodies. Now play through each type passage. Fantastic, huh? Opposites can be useful and important too. For instance, suggest practicing slow pieces fast and fast pieces slow. Similarly, play soft passages loud and vice versa. You can help to develop Penny's musical memory too, Howard. Suggest she practices any bar or phrase from memory with her eyes closed. Amazing Betty. I feel so much more like I could really help now in my new role as Penelope's music home practice coach. I'm so glad. You know, even though I have my trombone performance diploma, my role at home is really just the same as yours. Wow. Yes, although Mr. Cheeseburglar is a fantastic teacher, I suppose it's the home practice that really enables the big progress. We are a very important part of the whole deal then, Betty? Absolutely, Howard. You said it. And also, with our practice coaching, they will begin to think more independently. 
Zeus came home the other day saying that schools are preparing learners for jobs and new professions that don't exist yet. It made me think about how important it is that our children learn how to learn and problem solve. So last term, I focused on suggestions that made Zeus come up with his own solutions. He was struggling to understand a modern piece, so I challenged him to choose three of the piece's main musical ingredients and then make up his own simple short piece. You look worried, but it was not necessary for me to know what the three ingredients were. I just set the challenge. He loved it and understood his piece far better. Good times. Yes, I remember you saying his grades had improved last term. I am worried about the long piece Penny has to do for her grade 8 exam though. She is saying she doesn't know where to start. Okay imagine an actress walking onto the set, for day one rehearsing a big Shakespeare play. Could you imagine her saying to another actor, what's the plot then? Why does the king batter his mother with a banana? No. Good actors have to research their roles and know the plot, story and context of the play intimately. In much the same way, Penny needs to know all about the whole concerto in order to play the third movement well. She needs to know the music deeply. So how about you want Penny go and hear it performed? Then, play a recording of it at breakfast. Your home practice coaching will be to support what Cheeseburglar recommends like dividing the piece into short practice sections. As Penny's practice develops, suggest she makes the practice sections longer. Remember, for more able young musicians, the more difficult the music, the more it may be necessary to study it away from the instrument. You could do this together. This can be a great parent-child bridge builder. That's so marvelous Betty. Maybe you would like to come over and see my mini glockenspiel sometime. No, Howard. You are a nice guy but also quite weird. If you are interested in finding out more about successful home practice techniques and strategies, make a note of the following publications. They were used as trusted sources of information by the author of this film. Thank you for watching, and good luck.